what's up guys this is sunny and today i'm back with another video and today's video is a little different today we are not talking about hack and touch guide build or gaming pc or a smartphone uh today i want to talk about uh, data so i know everybody have their personal data and you guys may be saving your personal data in one of uh, maybe passport hard drive or or in your computer hard drive or maybe some of you uh, save your data in some kind of cloud and stuff so what I wanted to do I wanted to build a file server and just have my data in my IP I didn't want it to share out of my IP I just wanted my data so I could share in my house so I live in a two-family house and I live in a second floor and my family they live in the first floor and then my brother he's uh, he have, has a, like an office in the basement so I'm always going up and down and it's kind of hard if I have my laptop with me and I'm like I mean I'm in first floor or in basement and I need in, uh, I need some of my data I have to come to my office get the get the hard drive like one of these uh, the Seagate hard drive I back up my data to and uh, it's really good but the problem is I always have to come open my door or something and then get the hard drive and then go uh, work with my hard drive and stuff now if I'm outside of my house that's different then I'll definitely carry my uh, backup hard drive but if I'm in my house I want something you know just right there with one click so then um, I build a mini server so as you guys can see right here now the server cost me around like uh, you know three hundred dollar. I I got a AMD seventy four hundred K uh, CPU with uh, four 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 or eight gig of RAM and a two terabyte hard drive in there. Actually, two two terabyte hard drive. I was planning on mirror uh, the mirror both of the drives. So if one drive goes bad, the other one has exact the same copy and stuff. But then uh, I don't want it to have a PC running, you know, 24/7, because then it's still, like, you know, my electric bill will go a little higher. I know it's not gonna go like crazy high, but I just didn't feel good, you know, having a PC running, you know, like 24/7. And uh, the room I have my office set up in, you know, it's kind of the room is kind of small, so. And that, that little PC is, is kind of loud. So when I'm like recording voice and stuff, and I'm doing all this video editing and I'm recording my voice and stuff, I don't want that PC to make you know like like weird noise because it, it does make like you know the fan kind of loud and stuff. And I'm not planning to spend any more money in it. So that was canceled, and I'm not I'm not building a file server with that because basically I don't need a big space. I basically need maybe 32 gig or a 64 gig uh, space and like a you know my little shared drive and I can move it on like like little files from here and there and uh, and so basically I went and picked up a Raspberry Pi 2 for myself and this right here well worth buying you can do anything you want with this Raspberry Pi 2. Trust me when I tell you guys. So right now, I'm running my NAS drive or whatever you guys want to call file share server through this one. And I have a 64 gig, uh, uh, including uh, like 64 gig uh, SD card in there. And also I have like another 16 gig. So I kind of have like uh, two, two hard drive, you know, but I know uh, USB is a little slow. Like I said, I'm not storing any big uh, media file in it. You know, everything I'm installing in there is like it's just you know just like some words and stuff and some uh, Excel's works sheet and stuff. So nothing uh, heavy. Uh, basically, what I save in there. Uh, whenever I do like benchmark and stuff and I, uh, I'm planning to save everything there and then when I edit the video and you know so I can move around in my house you know I don't have to sit in my desktop and do all the work 
So that's the main reason uh, I I had to uh, build a little NAS drive. Oh shit! And I know I could have buy one uh, a NAS drive from uh, New Egg or Micro Center, but uh, I wanted to you know be a little creative. So basically, with Webman help. Okay, really great guys, Webman. So what I did, I went to Raspberry Pi uh, website and I downloaded uh, Raspberry Pi Jesse. So I think it's the newest version, uh, David. And it's really good, guys. With that, and also I installed Samba. So let me see if I could show you guys. All right. So. As you can see, Samba. Um, I don't. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. So first thing, what I did, I installed a Raspberry uh, Res uh, Resbin uh, Jesse, and then what I did, uh, I installed Samba, and uh, after that, I that's optional. Uh, Webman, Webman. If you have Webman, basically what you could do. Uh, you could uh, okay. So let me just explain you guys. Samba works basically. Samba when you are uh, Samba, you have to do manually everything. You have to manually you uh, set up the users, uh, the security, the rights, uh, the user rights. You know which folder they can read and write and stuff. So Samba is really complicated for basically for a beginner. Samba is good for someone who is messing with uh, Linux and stuff. And uh, or Ubuntu or somebody who, who who knows Samba, but if you are new and you are working with Samba, Samba is a little complicated for uh, a newbie. You know, just to you know build a uh, NAS drive using Samba. So if you if you are new and you're planning to build a uh, NAS drive or a file share drive with a uh, Raspberry Raspberry Pi 2 so basically just go with uh, Webman so Webman what you could do it with Webman you can uh, you can basically after you install Webman Webman will by default you will just you know share your stuff like in your network and then you have to give some rights and stuff but a lot of people who are using Samba with Samba just like doing everything manual a lot of like I know a lot of uh, you out there, you can even uh, share your file in your network because it's a little, little hard. And I'm not saying uh, building a Pi 2, a Pi 2, uh, building a uh, NAS drive with Raspberry Pi 2 is going to be easy. It's kind of tough, you know, you have to know what you're doing, you have to know a little bit of Linux and stuff. And also, the reason everyone uses Samba, because Samba works really well with Windows and Mac. So Samba is, is really, really a good choice if you are thinking about building a NAS drive, share drive, you know, well, a little share, you know, file, uh, file server is definitely good. So my cost buying a uh, Raspberry Pi 2 cost me $34 and basically I, I spent like 50 bucks and I have a, a little a NAS drive shared drive in my network so let me just show you guys real quick as you can see right here so that's my uh, shared drive uh, right here and uh, ignore this guys uh, don't worry about this so yes uh yeah so that's my share there right here and uh from uh there if i get in as you can see i have a folder for my wife i have a folder for my son and i have a folder for myself so if i go to sunny and then you can see all these uh little little folder or the file and i have like a little test folder there so yeah guys so that that was the whole plan just um build a little uh, sh uh like a little NAS drive so I can use it so right now basically I have a static IP and with that static IP I can log into webmain and I could you know you know change whatever I want and I could add a new user and also a static IP only works with my router and my uh, IP that, uh, so if I get off 
Like if I try to log in from a different IP address or a different network, it's not going to work. And my whole plan was to uh, build a NAS drive in uh, my network. I, I didn't want it to share. Uh, I, I don't want it to share my data with any other network. So, so that's the main reason I build a, uh, you know, I build a NAS drive uh, with uh, Raspberry uh, Raspberry Pi 2 and uh, just have it in my network. So I can only look at my data in my whole house and uh, my router is pretty powerful. So, you know, it works all the way through my basement and I can, you know, open my open my laptop and start you know sharing folder if I wanted to save something I could save it there and uh, let me just show you guys real quick uh, so you guys could see so as you can see my folder right here I open that and uh, I could go inside I could just create a new folder here okay and create a new folder here and uh, I could do whatever I want you know uh, Okay, so all these rights you have to give from another, uh, you have to give from Webman. Okay, so basically the Samba is working through Webman. So without Webman, you have to manually configure the whole Samba setup and not everybody knows how to do it. And it's kind of got real hectic and, you know, it's just crazy, guys. So yeah, guys. Um, I will try my best to show you guys a guide maybe one of these days but I just wanted you guys to know if you're thinking about um, you know adding a little shared drive or a little NAS drive in your uh, network on your IP and you should definitely look into a Raspberry Pi 2 and just uh, maybe you could follow the same thing I did so yeah guys peace and see you next time